Hey everyone, Tyler here with Make, and today we are here at Shaper, and I have Joe with me here, and uh, we are talking about the Shaper Origin. Now this is a device we've seen at a couple of different maker fairs before, and you guys are getting kind of close to getting ready to start selling the thing, but for anybody who's not familiar yet, what is Shaper? Yeah, uh, well Shaper is the world's first handheld CNC machine. I think that's the probably the easiest way to describe it, especially to uh, people who are familiar with CNC. But uh, yeah, really it's, a, it's, you know, we like to think of it like CNC without the bed size limitations of normal CNC. That's and, the most striking thing about this, because yeah. if you've dealt with a CNC machine before, you're dealing with something that essentially is the size of the, work, the biggest work piece you can work on. Uh, but this is much smaller than that, obviously. Right, yeah. I mean, this is, uh, it's a totally portable machine. I mean, we, we, we actually have put them in backpacks and driven them on motorcycles to job sites and stuff like that. So completely portable. So what is what exactly is the machine doing? Uh, so the machine is uh, it's powered by computer vision. We've got a camera that's a front-facing camera that's looking down at the workpiece. Uh, people have probably seen the the uh, shaper tape. This is a special fiducial marker tape that we've developed. It's, it's uh, low cost, considered disposable. Um, you can cut right through it. Um, Basically, you just slap down the tape on any workpiece that you're cutting or any fixture or template that you're creating. Uh, and if you cut through it, it's no big deal. You don't have to be very careful about how you're putting it down. You don't have to put it in exact straight lines or parallel rows or anything like that. You can just kind of put it down. The important thing is that the camera is able to see a few of these markers at any given time. That's how the machine knows where it is relative to the workpiece. So kind of uh, in a nutshell, it's like GPS for power tools. The only thing the machine cares about is that it can see enough markers at any given time in order to make the cuts. But you don't really have to stress about putting it on uh, at the beginning because if you're in the middle of a cut and uh, if the machine doesn't see enough markers to understand where it's at, you can, it actually will tell you that, it'll say too few markers, and you can actually go back in and you can add additional tape. So there we go, we've uh, laid out the tape. The next step, I'm in scan mode right now, and I'm just, I'm simply waving the machine over the work surface. I'm just capturing all this information, and when I'm finished scanning, I hit finish. And what it's doing right now is it's stitching together all of these images. It's very similar to how a panoramic photo works, stitching them together. Okay, the next step would be to actually place a file. So we'll go in and we're gonna cut something, I'm gonna cut a leg of a table. I'm gonna complete this one when I walk to the other side of the table. So I can start and stop wherever I want. I just went out of bounds, I went out of the, the cutting range. It's no big deal. The cutter lifted up, I can come back to where I was and I can just drop back in and pick up where I left off. Bench table leg. You know, peel this stuff off easily, and you're done. One of the things we're really excited about with Origin is the ability to to kind of move out of plane or cut things, uh, cut features into material that you wouldn't normally be able to do. You know, kind of a a flatbed CNC router or similar. So we've been uh, doing a lot of experimentation with, uh, with various fixtures and ways to, to hold material to actually be able to produce things like finger joints and dovetail joints. So for example, we've, um, we've uh, clamped up a piece of wood and we'll, we'll demo this. You can simply come in and you can enter in the width 
I've already actually measured this uh, just before. Inches and height. I'm actually going to uh, kind of over specify the height just because it's defining the path I'm going to be cutting. And uh, I don't know, let's just choose to do four in there and create the joint. So you can see that it's actually automatically generated equal spacing, uh, four different fingers and pockets. And then we can go ahead and just place that onto the piece that we already have fixtured up. So let's see, we move this around, we can place it, lock it down. And now we zoom back out. That is locked into place digitally and then we can just move in and cut it. So I'm gonna start rolling out. Got some nice little features on the end grain. All right, well that is a super impressive uh, demonstration of, of Shaper Origin. Now, we've been working with this unit here, but this unit here is actually the, the one that you guys are gonna be shipping sometime soon? Yeah, we are uh, planning to ship in starting September 2017. Yeah, that's but, uh, it's on pre-sale now. Yeah, and what are, the, what are the differences between these two machines? Yeah, well, they're, they're largely similar in performance, but this is, uh, this is representative of the shipping version of Origin. So you can see some, this is some industrial design differences. We've kind of packaged everything together a little bit more compactly. Um, we still have the front-facing downward camera. We've integrated some uh, with effectively headlights so that uh, in, in low or differing lighting environments, we don't, uh, it, it helps us to be able to see our shaper tape better. Mm -hmm. uh, we've integrated kind of nice, you know, removable safety shield. And really, really importantly, uh, we previously have been tethered to an external uh, computer and now the entire system's integrated in board. So we're just gonna have one cord going to the wall. So it's much more like a regular power tool that you might be accustomed to. All right, so Shaper Origin is uh, available for pre-order today, and uh, where can people go to learn more of it? ShaperTools.com. It's uh, available for pre-order. Um, We're offering a limited quantity of them, and uh, the retail price is $20.99, but uh, for, for our early supporters, and get in early enough where you'll be able to get one for less than $14.99. That's, that's incredible, especially for a CNC machine that can break down material of just about any size you can throw. That's right, exactly. Yeah. Well, great. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to show us the, uh, the Shaper Origin today, and be sure to check it out if you're interested in learning more. Okay, thank you.